Troy Kearns, real estate investor, bringing it to you from my Las Vegas office. And today I have one of the most exciting topics that I have ever talked about. I am going to predict who is going to be the next trillionaire. Billionaire is a thing of the past. A billionaire, psh, don't even talk to me, man. That's like psh, yesterday's news. <laughs> if you made a billion dollars, nobody cares anymore. If you've made a trillion dollars, people want to know. Why make trillions when we could make in this video, we are going to discuss who is most likely to be our next trillionaire. And I know we've heard this from a lot of people. I know you might have your own opinions about who you think might be the next trillionaire. Maybe you think there's already a trillionaire, or maybe you think that's never even going to happen. I want to know what you think. So tell me who you think is going to be the next trillionaire. I want to hear it in the comments. Let me know. Before I get into that video, let me tell you a little bit about who I am, what I do, and why this channel is a good investment for your time right now. My name is Troy Kearns. I started investing in real estate about 17 years ago. And about 10 years ago, I became financially free by investing in real estate. I own about 350 properties, all sorts of commercial real estate and residential properties. And I understand a thing or two about how to gain wealth. I'm nowhere near any of these dudes. But what I can tell you is understanding how far people are and having guys that are just trailblazing that are making massive things happen should inspire you so my whole point in this video is that you get inspired by seeing what is possible so make sure you give us a like make sure you subscribe make sure you follow me on my TikTok, on my instagram let's get into the video and find out who's gonna be the next trillionaire So here are the candidates for the next trillionaire. We're gonna go through them. As of 2021, there was approximately 2,800 billionaires listed in the world. 2,800, and guess how many trillionaires? Zero. If you take approximately 2,800 people, you add all their net worth combined, you got $13.1 trillion. So a trillion dollars is an awful lot of money if it takes 2,800 billionaires to get only $13.1 trillion. So let's talk more about a trillion dollars because before we tell you, oh, these guys are gonna be the next trillionaire, you should really care. You should care how much a trillion dollars is, right? Trying to get you your first million is, they say, the hardest crawl that you're ever going to make. You, know, you gotta get there, you gotta pull yourself across the carpet like a wounded battle, like Lieutenant Dan and Forrest Gump, man. You lose your legs and you're still crawling, you're still trying to make it happen, and they say it's the toughest thing to do. I remember my first million. It happened a long time ago, but I remember it and it was a very proud moment. A trillionaire is a thousand billion dollars. Okay? Get it? If you're a trillionaire, you have a thousand billion dollars. So who's gonna have the first one thousand billion dollars? That'll be our first trillionaire with 12 zeros in their name. Who's gonna be the next trillionaire, right? We're gonna start with my first answer. And this is gonna go in least likely to the most likely. And make sure you stay till the end because I've got a surprise for you that nobody even knows I'm about ready to unleash on you because we may already have a trillionaire that ain't even on this list. Well, number 10, Mukash Ambani. He is an Indian national. He lives in India and he is worth $84.5 billion. And this guy is an innovator. Like he came to Stanford in 1979 in Palo Alto, California to study how to get rich and become a multi-billionaire. He owns a company called Reliance Industries and he's got a stake of 42% of that company. That's about 73 billion of his dollars. So they came from mostly his company. So what does this company do? How does this guy generate all this massive amounts of wealth. Well, I'm about ready to tell you. So Mukesh is basically a massive warehouse and manufacturing guy. He builds stuff in India and all of his money is made by producing goods that are sold in other countries like the US. Reliance Industries started as a textile mill, right? Just as a manufacturing plant. And then he's invested in energy. He's invested in petrochemicals. He's invested in natural gas. He's invested in retail. He's invested in telecommunications and mass media. These guys 
are building massive amounts of wealth. That's why he might be our next trillionaire. And I want to know what you think, so make sure you comment. Number nine, Sergey Brin. Have you heard of him? Sergey Brin got his start from a company you may use every freaking day called Google. He is Larry Page's partner. He's worth $89 billion and he's 47 years young. Where did all this massive amounts of wealth come from? Google. That's where he made all his freaking money. Google and YouTube and acquisitions. All he's done, him and Larry Page, has been buying stuff. And let me tell you, he's a smart guy. Larry Page is a smart guy. They both also went to Stanford. That's kind of funny. They went to Stanford. Homeboy went to Stanford. Mukesh. And they're all billionaires, dude. I think I know where my kids are going. <laughs> Stanford! <laughs> You're never going to guess who I'm going to say for number eight. You never guess. Larry freaking Page. Larry Page, who is 48 years old, also a founder of Google, also bought up YouTube, and guess what? He is worth 91.5 billion dollars. So let's break it up. He's worth about 2.5 more billion dollars than his partner. So someone's getting screwed. So where does his net worth come from? Well, his ownership stake of Google is 6%. Almost 90 billion of his $91 billion comes from his ownership in Google. Number seven, Larry Ellison. Have you heard of Oracle? How much is Larry Ellison worth and how did he get all his money? Well, he's worth 93 billion dollars. And where does that money come from? Well, he owns 35.4% of Oracle, which comprises $61 billion of his total net worth comes from Oracle. Where does the rest of his money come from? Well, he's got lots of real estate. We know that he owns islands in Hawaii. He owns real estate all over California. He owns arenas in California. He owns $10 billion worth of Tesla and the rest is cash. Number six is Warren Buffett. You might've heard of him. He owns another company called Berkshire Hathaway, right? Berkshire Hathaway. Hathaway was a company that was worth nothing when he bought it. It was an old textile mill. He named his company, his holding company, Berkshire Hathaway. So how much is Warren Buffett worth and how old is he? Well, he's old. He's 90 years old. Warren Buffett is a rich dude. What does Warren Buffett own? Well, Warren Buffett owns Nevada Power. Guess who I pay my power bill to? Nevada Power. He owns lots of power company. He owns Geico. He owns tons of insurance companies all over the world, okay? He owns lots of broadcast company. He owns media companies. He owns just tons of companies. He tries to hit one home run a year. So how much is he worth? Troy, would you tell me already? He's worth $96 billion, or as I like to say, about a billion dollars for every year he is old. And basically all of his money has come from his holding company that just buys companies. All he tries to do each year is buy a company and get a big win. Number five, and if you haven't checked this great video out, Mark freaking Zuckerberg. Have you seen Mark Zuckerberg's video of him holding the flag on his wakeboard through the, <laughs> through the water? We're gonna make sure we throw it up right now. Mark Zuckerberg is a very noteworthy mention, okay? This dude is 37 years young. He was a billionaire at 27 years old, okay? He is worth $118 billion, but guess what? How much of that is Facebook stock, Instagram stock, and all that stuff? Well, he owns 13% of it, and it's 115 of those billion dollars. So the other is comprised of cash and real estate holdings. Number four, the mighty, mighty, mighty has fallen, Bill Gates. Do you guys know who Bill Gates is? Bill Gates founded Microsoft way back when. He was actually a villain way before like he became this health guru. It was Microsoft versus the United States government back in the early 90s and Bill Gates was deposed, testified, and they tried to bring antitrust against, well they did bring antitrust against Microsoft, but he fought him, he won, he reinvented his image. Now he's a scientist who comes up with life-saving vaccines all around the world and comes up with ways for third world countries to be able to bathe in showers and not have to bathe in cesspools. So Bill Gates reads tons of books. He's getting smarter and smarter, but he's giving away all his money, right? He made the pledge to give away all his money. He's worth $124 billion, but he's giving away all his money. Hello, it's a scam. He's not giving away all his money. It's a tax strategy that makes him look good. He's still investing. He's into vaccines. We know that. He might be behind something. We don't know that, but we do know he's a super smart guy. He is a force to be reckoned with. He's a voracious reader. He reads 
hundreds of books a month. Bill Gates is a super smart guy. There's no question. I don't know what his motives are, but I do know he recently got divorced. He's got to give some of that money away. He may get the fire put back into him. Maybe this divorce was draining on his business aspirations and maybe now he's gonna get hooked up and reinvent himself. Number three, Bernard Arnault. He is from Paris, France, okay? Bernard Arnault is 72 years old and he's worth, guess what, crazy. And I've been watching this guy, he's been coming up. He's worth $150 billion. He owns a 97% share of Christian Dior, which accumulates up to his net worth, which is about $109 billion of his net worth. So that 97% interest in Christian Dior is a lot of his money, but it's not all of it, of $150 billion. So where did the other $41 billion come from? I'm about ready to tell you. He's the CEO of LVMH. It's the largest luxury goods company anywhere. He's got a lot of holdings. He owns a lot of stuff. He's been creeping up that board slowly but surely, but he's He's in the wrong country, okay? He's in the wrong country for taxes, for liability, for all that stuff. They could strip his wealth away at any time, okay? That's why I don't think he's gonna make it. Number two, Elon freaking Musk, 50 years young. Elon Musk, you may have heard of him. He founded a couple companies. Tesla, have you heard of PayPal? Yeah, he started that one too. He has started so many companies that we don't even know about. He is a brilliant, brilliant guy. Now he's exploring space. He's got the boring company. He's worth $151 billion. Where does all that money come from? 20% of Tesla is owned by Elon Musk, which accounts for $114 billion of his $151 billion. His other assets are space exploration technology, the boring company, Company, which I previously mentioned. And he's got a lot of other stuff going on. I know he just recently sold all of his real estate, but I believe that Elon Musk has got a 90% chance of getting there. Number one, let's get into, not our last, because I got a surprise for you, but our last one that I've got factual evidence of, okay? Okay, Jeff Bezos, number one. Jeff Bezos is a rich dude. He started Amazon with nothing in his garage in Seattle, he drove across country from New York. He's a smart guy, hired by Wall Street to do a bunch of trading. He decided he didn't wanna do that, so he started Amazon because books were easy to catalog and logistically, figure out. So he's a logistic company that sells goods, right? Well, his net worth is $177 billion. He's 57 years old. He's from Seattle, Washington, and he started Amazon, but what else does he own? 11% of his holdings in Amazon account for 174 billion of his dollars. He's only got $3 billion coming from other stuff. So basically, he's all in on Amazon and all out on everything else. He just recently got divorced. He's gonna lose some of that money through there. He also has got a lot going on. He owns a lot of real estate all over the country, but I don't think he wants it bad enough. I just think, he wants what he's got. He continues to acquire things to build Amazon. Now, I told you I was gonna save you a secret to the end, and aren't you glad you stayed there? But we recently had someone comment one of the videos I put out there, and guess who they said they think is already a trillionaire? Vladimir Putin. As of 2018, they guessed his net worth was worth $200 billion. He owns Russia, like he literally owns Russia. So maybe he's already the first freaking trillionaire. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you watching the whole video its entirety. Do us a favor, subscribe, like, notify, follow me on all my socials, stay tuned, we're bringing you new videos. Let us know what you like, let us know what you wanna hear. Let us know anything that you think about the video and I hope you can become a millionaire and a trillionaire through real estate. Peace.